Hansel and Gretel. Hansel and Gretel lived with their father, a poor woodcutter, in a little cottage in a forest. When Hansel and Gretel's mother died, their father married again. Hansel and Gretel's new stepmother was selfish and mean, the cruelest woman they'd ever seen. One night, when the children were in bed, Hansel and Gretel's stepmother said, "Husband, we only have food for one more day. We must send Hansel and Gretel away, otherwise we will all starve." Father said no, but stepmother said, "They have to go." Gretel cried, "What will we do?" Hansel said, "I'll look after you." Later that night, Hansel crept outside and collected some pebbles. In the morning, when father took the children into the forest. Hansel dropped the pebbles as they walked. Father told Hansel and Gretel to wait for him, but he didn't come back. Soon, it was dark. But the pebbles shone white in the bright moonlight to show Hansel and Gretel the way home. Gretel said. We'll get home soon," Hansel replied, "by the light of the moon." Hansel and Gretel walked all through the night to get home. Father was happy to see them, but stepmother was cross. "Naughty children," she said. "I'll show you who's the boss." She told father he must take the children back into the forest and leave them there. When Hansel went down to collect some more pebbles, he found the door locked. Oh no! The next morning, father took Hansel and Gretel deep into the forest. He gave them bread to munch for their lunch, and Hansel used some of the bread to make a trail of crumbs. At the end of the day, the crumbs will help us find our way, he whispered to Gretel. Father told Hansel and Gretel, "I'm going to chop some wood. Please be good and wait for me here." But father never came back. Gretel cried. Look, Hansel, the birds ate all the crumbs. What will we do? Hansel replied, "I'll look after you." By the morning, Hansel and Gretel's tummies were rumbling and grumbling with hunger. Suddenly. Just ahead, they saw a house made of gingerbread. A house made of sweets. A house we can eat. An old woman poked out her head. Come inside, my dears, she said. But the old woman was a witch. She locked Hansel up and gave Gretel a mop. "Do the housework," she said. Every day, the witch told Gretel, "Cook your brother some tasty food. When he's nice and fat, he'll taste good, and I will eat him. I like to eat little boys." Every morning, the witch told Hansel, "Hold out your finger so I can feel if you're fat enough to make a meal." 
Mm, not fat enough yet. However, Hansel knew the witch couldn't see. Her eyes were so sore and red. So he tricked her and held out a bone instead. One day, the witch couldn't wait any longer. I'm going to cook and eat Hansel, she said. Gretel, light the oven now. Gretel replied, but I don't know how. The nasty witch cried, just crawl inside. Look, I'll show you how to do it right. But Gretel pushed the witch in and shut the door tight. Gretel said, here's the key. Hansel exclaimed, I'm free. Gretel unlocked the cage and she and Hansel could go. But first they went round the cottage looking high and low. They opened a door and, oh, what a sight! They found piles of jewels or sparkling and bright. Hansel and Gretel soon found their way home, where father was waiting all alone. I'm so glad you're back. Your stepmother has gone, he said, hugging them tight. From now on, everything will be all right. With the witch's jewels, they would never be poor again. And they all lived happily ever after. <laughs>